very happy holiday season. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate, as long as you're with your family and you're eating some good food, that's all that really matters. So we want to kick this meeting off by first off introducing all of our guests. If you are a guest on the line today, let's hear from you. Say a quick hello, then where you're dialing in from and how you heard about our meeting. So let's go to Isabel really quick. We met with Isabel last night. Isabel, where are you dialing in from? Say hello to everybody. Um, hi guys, nice to meet you. I'm dialing in from Orange County in the city of Orange. I'm super excited to to meet with all you guys and 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 join the team. Love it, I love it. Well, welcome and thanks for being here. Who else is a guest on the line today? Is Julianne? Are you a guest of uh, first time here at our meeting? No, okay. Well, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, Rochelle. Is this not your first meeting? You were here last week, right? Um, I joined your training session yesterday. That was my first time on. Um, so nice to meet you guys. I was made aware of your guys' team by the lovely Christina Darrow. Um, currently right now I'm in New York visiting family, but I live in El Dorado Hills, California. Beautiful. Well, welcome. Thanks for, you were at group coaching yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah, that, that one hit <laughs> a little bit harder yesterday. So thanks yeah, for being great. here two days in a row. Uh, this will have a little bit different speed and different energy, but I'm so, so stoked that you're, you're here. Good morning. My name is Lily and Rebecca is my mentor. Welcome, Lily. Nice to have you. Uh, Kenny, do we have any other guests on the line today? I don't see any faces. Okay, cool. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. We're going to get right uh, into everything. But before we get started, as always, um, and, and let's talk about this for a second. We always talk about culture, but I think what we've been talking about a little bit more often recently is community. And, and the two are very important, right? The culture is really what people see about the company, how it feels, kind of like the brand overall high arching. The community is what happens here. The community happens within your squads. The community happens when you guys are going to get noodles with the same people three times a week. The community is when you have your brothers and sisters in the office that are always there for support, to chop it up, to shoot funny reels. Like that is your community. So I think what's happening here at Fast Real Estate is that we have built a very strong culture, but what else has been built is a very, very strong community. So I want to thank all of your brothers and sisters for just being there for each other because Kenny and I don't say that. We don't say, Kevin Magna, make sure to be there for Ronnie Escalante if he ever needs you. No, you guys just have found your tribe within the tribe. And I think it's been a beautiful thing. I think the friendships, the relationships, the life friends that have came out of um, the community, it's been a beautiful thing. And so I just want to share that thought with you. Um, before we go ahead and get started, you guys will want you to put your wins and shout outs in the chat below. And uh, if you guys are new to the environment and we're not connected on social media, make sure to put your IG handle below. That way we can all stay connected. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the Oracle. And the Oracle is going to do a quick update. And from there, we're going to go over to Ben Rojas. And Ben Rojas is going to do a very, very important update. So Karina, before we get to Ben, turn it back over to me. But without further ado, let's head over to the Oracle. Hey guys, this morning I want to talk about um, something that just kind of keeps coming up online. We're seeing it a lot on Instagram. And it's people sharing coming soon listings without adding them as a coming soon on the MLS or an active listing. Uh, you got to remember that within one business day, it has to be on the MLS if you're sharing um, if you're sharing listings is coming soon. It doesn't really matter if you're trying to skip the address or trying to find workarounds or using top agent network or any of those things. This is a pretty clear policy. It is also found on the SL SELM. If you are a realtor, you are required to do this, whether or not people are breaking the rules or not. So just any public marketing, so if you're sharing it with people within your own brokerage alone, so only under EXP, you're allowed to share that as a coming soon or an off market. But once it's public to other companies or um, other clients and things, you, you need to uh, put it in as a coming soon or uh, an active listing. So I'll, I'll share this in our Slack channel again, and I'll share the NAR link talking about all the different you know questions and answers for you so you can revisit that 
but just keep that in mind when you're sharing things on Instagram. We love it, but also be careful. And right, right now, people are getting a warning on their first offense, but a couple of MLSs are talking. Um, not, I'm not saying specifically which one because I'm an MLS board director, but um, some MLSs are thinking of making skipping the first warning and going straight to a large fine. So unless you want to pay thousands of dollars out of nowhere, you know, because you post it coming soon, you want to be very careful. You can post post coming soon if you're planning to actually list a home on the market within the next day. I joined the call late, but what if, like, is it still, like, if you just say three bed, two bath in Oakland, but you don't mention the specific address, is that still a violation? Yes. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, and we even talked about this at our leadership meeting, like, hey, I don't have the listing agreement signed yet, but I've, you know, three bedroom, two bath in Oakland, it's too gray of an area, and it's too touchy, like, I, I we just want to make sure to see why they... All right, cool. Uh, any other questions on that? Cool, more updates. Make sure to look at Slack. Make sure to contact Karina if you have any questions about it, just so we make sure we keep our asses out of trouble. Um, before we get over to Ben Rojas, let me ask you guys a quick question. Give me a hand up or give me a reaction with the reaction button below. How many people, as we move into 2022, would like to convert more online leads to drive their business? Please give me a reaction or give me a, um, on the screen. Me. Okay, cool. <laughs> of course, right? Right, so, so the idea behind this is, and when we think about the dichotomy of online leads and what it takes to convert an online lead, and this is not just Zillow Flex. So let's talk about other lead sources. What, what happens, and thank you guys for your participation on a high level. What happens is that um, a lot of times we don't truly understand the science behind um, what it takes to convert online leads. What are the nuances? Well, if I was to pick up the phone seven seconds earlier, what would that mean to my conversion? And if I was able to pick up my phone at a consistent nine second you know, pickup rate, what does that mean from like an OJO or City and how they're going to give me more leads in the future? And they look at my success. So we are going to really dive into helping you guys with Rise and Op City, or excuse me, with, with Op City and OJO. How we're going to do that is through a company called Rise that is going to help us from a coaching level, from a support level, to a mastermind level, to from an analytical side to make sure that you guys have the best information that you need to get better uh, um, converting online leads. And so uh, Ben is gonna tell us a little bit about that. We're going to be making a migration over to Rise, which is going to be a huge tool to our company and it's gonna help us on all levels. And so Ben, I wanna turn it over to the scientists to tell us a little bit about what Rise is and how the agents are gonna benefit from it and what the timeline of migration is gonna look like. So I'll turn it over to you, bud. Right on, thanks Elias. Can you guys hear me? Loud and clear. Cool, okay guys. So you guys have seen a bunch of changes recently. There's been a lot of talk about flex being uh, shifted or adjusted. And then there's also been talk about new lead sources that are, have been brought on. The two main sources that we've been working with uh, closely are OpCity, which is a realtor.com um, referral source. And then Ojo, which is actually Movado, um, is like their, their consumer facing portal. Each one has a referral fee that we have to pay them. But um, one of the, the challenges that we've had both with online leads, with Flex, with all these other partners is that, you know, there's no, you're, there's like a, like this cloud, right? There's like a guessing game behind like, how am I doing? Like, you know, when you close someone, you, when you connect with someone, but there's really no information that tells you like how well you're doing with the middleman, the referral source that's assigning those leads. So what we've done is we found this partnership or we've started a partnership with a company called Rise where they're going to give us backend analytics on how to improve your uh, referral rate and how to improve the quality of the lead that you're gonna get. And they've got a ton of different um, variables that they're gonna start, that they measure people on, but all those things have forever been like warehoused, like Wizard of Oz behind the curtain for those companies. What this company's doing is that they're like opening the curtains and letting, letting us see, is sort of like lifting up the hood and checking a car out before you buy it on all these referral sources. So say for example, realtor.com, when you get an op city lead, they actually give you a credit score and it's from like 50 to 120. And they tell you like, if you pick up within seven seconds, you get this many points. If you answer the call, how long the call was, if you showed them homes, like they, they give you more points and all those things help determine what kind of leads you get. And the more interesting thing is that what they see is the more your, your credit score, we're going to call it on um, realtor.com is the higher lead quality you get. So the less BMRs, the less, you know, I was just talking, looking for the listing agent, 
the less, hey, I'm looking for, you know, I was the neighbor next door. I just want to let you know the lights were on. Those kinds of calls are going to be dropped off and you're only getting more like qualified buyers. The reason is, is they don't want to waste time with all those people either. They're in the business of making money just like we are. And they want to put the best leads in front of the best closers. And that's all um, optics that we're going to get through partnership with this company. So I'm super excited. Now, one of the things that we're going to start doing is that that company, we're, we're dovetailing it into our integration with Follow Up Boss. And Follow Up Boss is going to be, again, our main platform on how we're going to start tracking and keep tracking all the progress to keep everyone's score as high as possible so we keep those leads as, as good as possible for us. And that's going to start, I mean, immediately. So um, it's a little bit of a quick change, but the first onboarding call is today at 2 p.m., these leads are going to be available to so ben we, we were talking earlier i think foregoing this first one and then setting it up for the next month I think okay so. yeah yeah so then next tuesday we're going to have two trainings available we have a 10 a.m and a 2 p.m and i think if everyone wants to sign up by then we can get everyone on the 2 p.m after our our morning call we can get everyone kind of queued up and ready for that onboarding so you guys, um, obviously, we thought about this role and what Ben was going to do for a very long time. We heard from top operators and teams throughout the country, and we said, you know what, we, we have somebody that we feel can really help us take this to the next level. Everything that we do within this company from an online lead source is going to be uh, looking at the data analytics and how can we move the needle based on where the data lies. And so I think having a scientist, that oh, that's what Ben is doing. Ben is in the lab. And he's looking at the ingredients and he's making sure the formulas are correct. And so um, huge shout out to you, Ben, and huge shout out to, to John, really working on this on the back end because, you know, we talk about this all the time, data analytics, data analytics, but now we have a whole department that is literally the machine behind all of our top conversion tactics and follow-up tactics. So Ben, I know you've been working your ass off and working tirelessly on this. So um, mad, mad props to you, mad props to John, and I'm stoked for this, bro. Um, so I guess there's going to be questions. And as you guys have questions about these things, please make sure to direct it to Ben. Um, hit them in Slack if that's, is that your preferred uh, style of communication? You're muted, bro. Damn boomer. If you can just throw them in the chat or Slack me, I'll get back to you guys. Or if you want to just text me directly, sometimes text works too. All right, cool, cool. So um, Ben, appreciate it. More information to come on this. Let's make sure that next week we are on the onboarding and to make sure that we are moving all of our new leads through Rise, that way you can truly see the end legs. It'd be nice to take all the old leads that you guys have, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna like starting you know, fresh, move all of your new leads into there. That way you can really, really understand um, you know, how to move your own needle. So stoked about this. Let's go ahead and get into um, the meeting slides. I'm gonna go ahead and present here. I got a quick uh -huh. comment on the Ops Daily leads too. So I'm in a lot of mastermind groups. So Ops Daily, you hear a lot of bad things and good things uh, from it. Ops Daily has a thing where once you start doing well on the platform in the short amount of time, they start giving you better leads. There, and if you are on it, you're not doing well, you're not sh doing showing appointments, closing, then you're gonna continue to get crappy leads. So it's so the more the more um, accountability and tracking you have on it, the better experience you're gonna get with the platform. Totally, and and we have one of the top converters in the entire country on our team, Mark Otis. And so as we move forward, not only does, does Rise do uh, masterminds and coaching and training, we're gonna do our own individual coaching, training and masterminding, but we're gonna be leveraging people like, like Mark and, and really having him give his, his thoughts and his insight on what's worked for him. So um, some really great stuff coming for you guys in the new year. But let's move into productivity and escrow. So you guys, last week, I'm sorry to put the picture up, but we had our very first Hustlers Lunch. The Hustlers Lunch were the top people from all categories uh, for CSU for the last two months, based on the holidays, we just combined two months. So a really great lunch. We went to Plank, we broke bread, we had some fun. And so uh, let's get right into productivity and new escrows. Let's get right into CSU updates. So for last week, hours working in your business, this person was at the Hustlers Lunch. She had a seat at the table. Her and Kim tied for number one. They were both at the Hustlers Lunch. Amy Inhoff came in at number two. She was actually at the lunch as well. Damien came in at number three, tied with Panise, who was also at the Hustlers Lunch. So great job, you guys, tracking your stats. Uh, let's get right into hours working on your business. 
Kim Tran at number one. Ginger came in at number two. Sylvia came in at number three. Jay Singh, who was um, one of the invited guests to the, um, the Hustlers Lunch. And then V coming in tied with number four. So great job, you guys. Way to show that hustler spirit. We know that all these activities are going to lead you guys getting on the contract. Let's talk about conversations. Conversations for the past week. Jay had 65 conversations killing the game. Amy Imhoff, more energy than me, I think. She came in at number two. Sylvia came in at number three. Demi and Bledsoe came in at number four. And once again, Amy Palin came in at number five. So really, really good job, you guys. Keep tracking. Every single month, it's going to be hopefully a different group of people. We're going to go to different places to, um, you know, to eat, to break bread, and to celebrate you guys. Let's go last but not least into buyer showings. Gurpreet. Having her best year that she's ever had in real estate, she had 14 buyer showings last week. Great job. Gurpreet Demian, killing it, came in with 10. Ginger and Ronnie tied for number three. And once again, Amy Imhoff on the leaderboard for number four. So great job. Round of applause. Hats off to each of you guys. Let's take a quick pause before we go any further. Let's talk a little bit about community contributions and different events that are coming up. Um, I, I don't know if Keelan's on and if Melody's on, but I know we have a couple of people doing some really, really cool events, but I know Mel's on, so let's do this. Mel, let's talk about community contribution, something that you have upcoming. Let's turn it over to you, and then anybody else who wants to grab the mic and talk about some things going on. Awesome. Good morning, Team Fast. Happy holidays. First of all, before I get started, I have to throw a huge shout out out there to my boys, my December babies, Kevin Magna. Happy birthday. Raymond Rosales. Happy birthday. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm so excited that I have the privilege to call you my friend. Um, I had the privilege to be your squad leader and to lead alongside of you guys on this amazing team. Thank you for everything that you do for all of us. You guys are crushing it this year. Kevin, um, I absolutely love you. Ray, try not to golf on any of the damn Zoom meetings anymore. I love you, bro. Um, you guys are the best. So yeah, this event I'm throwing is called the Vision Tour 2022. It's happening on January 5th at the Walnut Creek office at 2 p.m. Space is limited. I'm having only about 50 people there. We're going to come together because I think that this is one of the things that our team does best is collaborating with each other and supporting each other in order to level up. Think about all the partnership deals that you guys did this year. Think about all the agents that were able to come together and support each other on different transactions and provide good information and good knowledge. We created the vision for our lives this year and most of us had the best year ever on this team. That culture and that vibe and all of those tips and tools and tricks that we used in order to get ahead is what we're going to use next year in order to have a better year, a more productive year. So this is going to be about creating your vision for your business and how to collaborate and support each other in this industry, not just on this team, but in this industry as a whole, in order to help each other level up, not only in our businesses, but also in our lives. So there's gonna be a little bit of business planning tips. I'm gonna tell my story about how I started in this business and how I ended up to be where I am today. I'm gonna talk about different inspirations that I have within the team that help me level up and to do more deals. Elias is gonna speak as well about his experience this past year on the team. And we're gonna have food, drinks. It's gonna be a really good time. There's gonna be music. You know how I do it. I always like to have a beautiful, welcoming and warm space for agents to come to. So I would love to have some of you there, of course, not all of you, but the ones that really want to be there to get some business planning tips, come invite your potential recruits, invite your potential agents that are thinking of joining the team, because this is where they're going to feel our culture. This is where they're going to be able to cast their vision out for 2022 and start off with really strong momentum. So I'll put the link so that you guys can register below. 
Um, and I hope to see you guys all there. Beautiful. And we'd like to thank you guys all for coming to Melody Cleone's TED Talk this morning. Um, that will conclude our meeting. So thank you guys for being here. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Mel. Love it. Can't wait for this event. Any other contributions, community contributions that anybody wants to drop? Um, I know it's the holiday season. I know that a lot of you are going to spend some time with family, but anybody else have anything that they want to share before we head out for uh, community contributions? I am still doing the high street cleanup on next Sunday, the day after Christmas. I just put the link in Slack again for everybody. Um, I'm getting a lot of the neighbors involved, so that's exciting. I've got a few more people to sign up, but I can, the more the merrier. So if you're here in town on the 26th, we'll be meeting at the Walgreens at 11. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else, any other uh, community contributions they want to drop before we head on? Going once, going twice. All right, cool, you guys. Let's keep cruising. I'm um, really, really excited. Let's go into, uh, let's go into uh, our escrows for the week. So you guys, we had quite, quite a busy week. So let's get right into this. So uh, new escrows, Kelly O'Gorman got in contract for 360,000. Run on, having a just all-star year. Two transactions, 484 and 730,000. V, once again, having an all star year, two transactions, 590 and 640. Um, Jeff Phillips and uh, James Smith got in contract for 565. The Kang got into contract for 700,000. And Juanita Rivera got into contract for $750,000. So shout out to each of you. I'm going to turn it over to Juanita to talk about this particular deal. So Juanita, best year you've ever had in real estate. Why don't you uh, talk a little bit about this escrow? Yeah, Juanita. No, I'm just happy for these clients. I met these clients a few months ago. They were coming from Dallas, uh, the daughter was going to UC Berkeley. So this unit, they're buying it mainly for her. So we've been touring with her daughter and them when they come, but we finally got them in contract. I'm really super excited for them because I thought I was never gonna get them in contract with them going back and forth. But, you know, we're here. Love it. Juanita, how many deals have you done uh, since you joined the team? I don't, I, Honestly, I don't remember. Karina, correct me if I'm wrong. 16 or 17? Sounds about right. Sounds yeah. about right to me too. So, so, so Juanita, you have grown tremendously. You have learned tons. I remember doing one of our first deals with her and like just to see how much you've grown. So Juanita, if you could just reflect really quick with us on this call, what are a couple things that have been like the most aha moments for you this past year? The team. <laughs> the environment that we have here is unique. I mean, I call and, and everybody knows those I call uh, every time I'm going to play, make an offer and I'm, I'm down in something. My first to go to person is Karina, but I know she's busy. Then I reach out to Donna, to um, Kat, uh, no, not Kathy, uh, Terry. So all of them, all the, the team is just, I, I never want to leave the team. <laughs> so here's the thing, you guys. So, so, so some people in her past life, hey, can you mute yourself if you're not talking right now? In her past life, um, somebody told her, no, she can't, and she will never be a top producer. So really quick with me, I want everyone to throw this up really quick for, for Juanita. For all the people that ever told Juanita that she couldn't do this, this is what we're saying to them right now. Juanita, you've done it. You're representing in a big way. Love what you're doing. Love how you are killing the game and showing all of them that um, dynamite comes in very small packages. So congratulations to you on all of your success. Thanks for playing along with me, you guys. All right, continuing on. 770000 and 990000 Amy Imhoff going off. Another deal, 775000 That's a flex deal. Rebecca Gamon with the $785,000 deal. Will K and Martha with a partnership deal for 789. The Playmaker, check this out. Playmaker with two transactions, 837,415. Omega. Great job, great job. Um, Sunny Wong and David Hiller got in the contract for 920,000. And Christina Pineda for a contract for 955,000. Now, 
if Christina, if you're available, I know you're probably jet setting, but I want to turn it over to you because Karina, I know that we're, she's celebrated something special with the team in the last couple of weeks, right? Karina, you there? Christina did? Yeah, so we said it was- Yeah, the, I think we already talked about that. Did we say that last week on the meeting? I don't think we did. Karina, you there? We did, we did, oh, but go ahead. We, go ahead and say it again, it's, it's all good. No, tell me the exact number. Karina, you're leaving me hanging here. I know, I can't remember what her number was. I said it last week, but I can't remember now. <laughs> okay, well, well, she has done um, an, um, uh, just an incredible job building her business with us. I think that number was like 39, 35 deals uh, since being on the team. Absolutely crushing it. So Christina, I just wanna give you a, a quick second to say something about this particular transaction. You have been an inspiration to the ladies on the squad, you've been an inspiration to people in this business that are looking to get into it. So Christina, if you drop some fire for us really quick and tell us about this particular deal. Hi everybody. So this particular deal was uh, my seller in the San Marco area. Uh, so I got two transactions out of them and uh, I got them from just farming the neighborhood. So just really, again, getting out there, door knocking, just answering. Um, when you do have open houses, make sure you guys get out there the night before or the morning of to invite all the neighbors, kind of give them a, you know, just warm welcome. Like, hey, you're getting your first, you know, getting the first look at, a, you know, your neighbor's house. I mean, do you have a friend or family? And then it just really turns into a comfortable setting, not like you're a salesperson coming to their door. So that's how I got this uh, referral. Um, nice to not have to pay Zillow or Redfin or anybody else um, and get two deals out of it. So I look forward to more um, farming and just kind of like taking over certain neighborhoods and just really using that strategy, just reminding myself, yes, we're out here to sell something, but we're a resource and just keeping it real friendly because that's what earns their business is trusting. Love it. So, so huge shout out to you, Christina. Somebody said the other day, they're like, I just want to be like Christina at an open house. Like when she does an open house, it is so inviting and it's so comfortable and she sounds so confident and they walk in and she just owns that shit. So huge shout out to you because people are saying like, I just want to be like Christina on an open house and have that level of confidence. So good job. So officially, you guys, Christina is celebrating her 35th transaction as a um, as a fast agent with EXP with us, and so let's just give her a giant round of applause. Congratulations on all of your continued success. So great job, Christina. Appreciate. Thank you, you everybody, and You're to everybody that's always stepped up for open houses. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without all of the support. So I appreciate you. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, let's continue to cruise on. Um, so new escrows, million dollar plus deal. So check this out, you guys. Demian got in the contract once again, over a million, a uh, million five thousand. Um, Joseph Chin and Jennifer Oak got in a contract for a million ninety four. Donna Chan and Joey Duan got in a contract for one point three five zero, and Sunny got in a contract for one point four eight zero. So. This is incredible, you guys. Shout out to all you million dollar clubbers. Uh, let's go over to, let's go over to Demian. Demian, it, it seems to be a trend for you. I don't know what you're doing and, and how you're doing it, but it seems like this has been a trend for you, this million dollar plus deal. So why don't you talk a little bit about this last deal, my man? Super proud of you, super stoked for all your success. So why don't you talk about this particular deal? Um, this one, I've been out with this client maybe for about three months. Um, every weekend, my wife added it up for me last night. I've, I've toured about 60 homes with them. Uh, this was like our ninth offer. And um, they figured out how to borrow cash to make themselves more competitive, seven day close. Um, but we were still not getting our offer accepted. And it was, it was, uh, it was getting a little frustrating for uh, all parties involved. But um, yeah, I just, I kept knocking on doors and I kept looking for opportunities and trying to get them to, to expand their horizons on, on what they can envision themselves in. And we ended up finding the perfect home for them. It's a four, two, uh, 
right, so so we lost Damien, but but he, here's a point that I want to make. Um, a lot of people think when when you get on Flex and as we grow the program, obviously we're going to be adding more people. Just please bear with us. We're we're making some adjustments to can you know improve our conversion right now. But people think that oh I'm gonna get on Flex. I'm gonna get into contract right away. You guys, what you're not seeing behind the scenes is 60 homes, nine offers, right? You're seeing it on Instagram. You're seeing it on a team meeting. Somebody got a flex deal, but I'll tell you what, you guys, it is blood, sweat, and tears behind the scenes sometimes to get these leads to convert. And so it's not easy. It is tough. And converting an online lead takes some patience. 60 homes, it's like, damn, like, what am I finally going to get them in the contract? So Demian, congratulations to you. We're losing your audio, but nonetheless, Congratulations to you. And let me make a quick public declaration and a, um, a, I have to correct something. It's actually 38 deals since she has joined Team Fast for Christina Pineda. So uh, really, really great job. Damian, love what's going on with you, man. Love seeing the success. And Damian, if you guys don't know, having his best year he's ever had in real estate. So congratulations. So let's go over to one other person on this list. Um, Joey and Donna, are you guys on? Do you guys want to talk about this deal? Hey, I'm on. Good morning, everyone. Up, Joey? Let's hear from hey, what's you. What's going on? on? Uh, man, we got this. This is like one of the fastest deal I've ever done. Um, I think I met them about like three weeks ago and then showed them some homes in uh, Wanda Creek. And with Wanda Creek's markets being so um, really competitive, it shows that the, the season is not slowing down for anyone. Um, but we ended up finding them a house and uh, they love it. We're on offer be other uh about i think 10 other offers and there are other agents calling the listing agent like hey are you still accepting offers or not but um we we, we got we got it and uh thanks to donna so hey, is donna on, the, donna on the call donna, i think donna's donna. on a call right uh, on a um another um showing right now yeah, he's not on the call right, right. so um we had lunch with donna last week and she said that there's a they had a relationship or knew someone that knew the listing agent but um, they wrote lower than what the price was and they received a counter. But before that, um, Donna was the only one offer out of nine offers that used the new CARRPA yep, contract that was required the, from one day before. So out of the nine agents, the eight other agents were using the old one. So that got her in our shot. The, the listing agent was super impressed that she actually followed the rules and what you do what you're supposed to do. So she had basically working off a relationship and being the only agent to use a car contract got her the opportunity to do the account offer and they were in contract pretty quickly so that class we did uh, that day at oakland office uh contributed to this um this offer yeah so, most definitely um yeah just just you know i think working with different agents you learn so much from other people and their experience um so that's the one thing i learned about donna she's really on, on point and um do, do everything by but but by, by everything so it's cool awesome awesome love it love the partnership jen chimed in right now jen wanted to talk about this deal with her and joseph so jen take the mic for a second let's talk about this deal that came from an open house lead can you guys hear me i'm on the road right now yeah if you could turn your music down all right there we go you hear me now yeah okay hi everyone um i think joseph isn't on here to talk about it but um this was one of my listings um, that Joseph did. I just want to say, even though he's not on here, I am so proud of Joseph as a new agent. He is so proactive and, um, you know, he works every avenue and it's always like asking questions. So this open house, we had over, I would say 45 groups. It was like nonstop since we started. And he, like he and I both worked the room really well. Um, and we ended up getting five buyer leads from this. We already toured with three, wrote with two and got in a contract with one. And this was the one. And this deal was with a Redfin agent. So I always tell people like, you know, like don't trip off the splits at first because every deal you're gonna learn something new. And I think with this transaction, Joseph have learned so much from this Redfin agent that sucks ass. So um, guys, just work every avenue because, and, and don't be afraid to ask for the business because this, this lead actually came in saying that they were working with someone else. And Joseph, like right away, right after the open house, he sent everyone an email, provided everyone updates and just asked for the business. And they were just so impressed with him. And we just ended up touring that weekend and wrote the next weekend. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to Joseph. I know he's learning tons from you. And 
Um, you know, shout out to you on having an amazing uh, year. We'll do the whole recap uh, in January. So stay tuned because we've got some great information for everyone. So um, love it. Love it, you guys. Let's continue cruising on. Congratulations to everyone that got on the board um, in all categories. Let's take a quick look at where we are as a company, you guys. Once again, I am in complete um, all of what you have created in our environment. For closed escrows right now that is officially on the books, it's over 639 million. That's 840 so sides. And it's one of our highest average price points that we've had. Um, we're at 761 as an average sales price right now. So um, what you guys have accomplished, like literally we're on masterminds, we're uh, getting asked questions. People want to talk to us about how the company was built, we're building or putting together an event in January to let people know about our operations side. It, it's just incredible what you guys created. Pending volume right now is at 74 million, over 74 million and 96 sides. So congratulations to you guys. You guys put up 14 escrows last week and you did 14,221,250 in pending volume in just one freaking week. So let's give everybody a giant round of applause for the production last week, as well as everything that we've contributed that you guys contributed for the entire year. We'll do a full recap uh, meeting. We're going to do all that and honor everyone and talk about, um, you know, highlights for the year. But um, that's just a quick snippet of where we're at right now. So without further ado, we get a little bit of a drum roll going on. Okay, control D. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but uh, let's go over to Ryan. So so uh, Ryan, we, we want to honor you this week, big dog. Um, you've been a huge contributor in coaching. You've been super consistent with your uh, you know contributions. You got two in contract last week. You closed seven high level communicator, hashtag playmaker, he's building off, uh, building a brand. So my man, we wanted to give you the mic for a quick second. We want to honor you with the fast story of the week. Good headshot. I like this headshot, bro. Clean, came out really, really clean. So let's turn it over to you, big dog. Congratulations on making fast story of the week. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I just think, you know, Dewey has said something early when I joined the team and it rings true, just, you know, showing up, whether it's to morning coaching, showing up to the office, um, like it, if it's in you and you're a hustler, like, you know, sometimes you need that extra energy and seeing other people do well to bring it out. In you. Um, and, you know, when I see events like the top producer dinner or um, the year in top 10 producer event, you know, I don't know about you. And it's not like a hate thing or a jealous thing. I'm just a competitive motherfucker. So like me not being in that room, you know, does something to my soul. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just out here working. And, uh, the, so one of my deals I did want to talk about, and it'll be real quick, but I had a client, his budget was 400 K and he needed to stay in Oakland because of, family issues we'll just keep it there um and I, I just want to urge agents like if you have clients at a tough price point or uh you know they're just having trouble you need to go out of your way to find a deal so I literally looked up canceled expired uh things that were like 425 and below and I called every single agent and listing agent trying to like find this dude a home he was living with the slumlord, threatened to cut off his electricity and gas and all that. So he just really wanted to get out of there. And we were able to make it happen. So, um, you know, trust me, the, the 900K deals, the 930K, which I think is my highest this year, those are dope. I love those. But this 400K deal, I think, especially to end the year and get their offer accepted, that one probably means the most to me this year. So I'm just out here trying to make plays, man. Do what I do. And um, next year, I'm um, I'm coming after everyone's head, man. So, just I love it. I, I remember when we first had our recruiting meeting with with uh, with Ryan. He was like, I think he was in an apartment in San Francisco, and he told us about his sports background. From day one, he's like, I'm just competitive, right? I got a competitive spirit. And now that he's finding his groove, finding his voice, finding his identity through his brand, like. I, I predict, I don't know what your, your personal goals are, but I, I see 25 deals 
on the horizon for the playmaker in, in 2020. I got a campaign next year. No one steal my ID idea. 22 and 22, you know, next year is 2022, 22 deals. <laughs> no one steal my campaign or my hashtag. I'm coming <laughs> for y'all if y'all steal my idea. But yeah, no, no, but no, no, someone's gonna be like, oh well, but mine's called Deuce Deuce. What way it's the same thing? <laughs> I don't care if it's dose dose. I don't care if it's in another language. You better leave my leave my slogan alone. <laughs> Oh, uh, but man, yeah, man. that's that's 22 families, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, we're trying to do big volume next year, so about well, 22 million, yeah, well, yeah, 22 million and 22 deals in 22. I felt like doing a volume goal and putting it out there on IG would be like selfish, so I want to do 22, help 22 families. You perfect, feel perfect, but well, whatever, be over a mil, you know, that's right, whatever speaks to your heart, my man. Well, hey. Um, well earned. Congratulations on all your success. Love seeing what you're doing. Love seeing what you're, you're accomplishing. So uh, great stuff. Let's get right back into the meeting. You guys love this. Uh, so same thing. So uh, quick update for next week, you guys, we will be having our team meeting on Tuesday. However, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday group coaching will be postponed for next week and we'll be relaunching in the beginning of the year. Next week, I'm going to be working on tons of admin stuff, tons of of, of uh, meeting prep and making sure that I'm working with our new sales leader that we're going to be launching at the beginning of the year. So next week, it's going to be head down, super, super focused on admin, the direction of where we're going with our coaching department moving forward. So next week, no coaching, but um, our Tuesday meeting will still be a go. Uh, I'll make sure to update everyone in Slack as well. What about now, uh, tomorrow? What about training? Zilla? Uh, so, so say again. I heard two So our Zillow meeting for next week is yes, a go um, for our training. Uh, actually, no, for, for next week for Zillow, we're, we're going to cancel that meeting too. We're going to re-pick it up at the beginning of the year. Uh, Kaleem, you had a question. Uh, are we going to, are we still on for tomorrow's training meeting? For, for group coaching? Yeah. Yeah, group coaching will happen tomorrow. Okay. See you yeah, so we're just, I'm just talking about next week. And then obviously Friday this week, there'll be no group coaching because it will be um, Christmas Eve. So for next week, we won't have group coaching. Tomorrow, group coaching is still on. If you guys haven't, and we'll talk about this just really quick. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch yesterday's group coaching, it hit really, really deep yesterday. A lot of people reflected on the year that they've had, what coaching meant to them, what it's done to them, and what they've heard and learned from their brothers and sisters high impact session, you guys. So I highly recommend you go back and watch that session. Um, and let's just talk about this for a quick sec. As we move into the new year, um, these are some things that we're going to be doing differently. Uh, we're going to be working with our senior marketing manager and we're going to, I don't want to steal too much of the thunder right now, but things to look out for is that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing like a weekly newsletter. That weekly newsletter is going to be able to house all the things that are going on each week. It's also going to have like, uh, you know, like, you know, tips for the week, you know, it's going to have the coach's corner. It's like, Hey, you guys, here are the three sessions that we had for the week. Here's a 30 second clip, 30 second clip, 30 second clip. And here's some action items that you can take out and deliver into your business. If maybe you weren't at group coaching. So we're just going to make sure that things that are a little bit more systematized, a little bit more structured, you guys are going to have information weekly. So you guys can reflect back to that. You'll have your links. And so I'm really, really excited to have a senior marketing manager that's going to help bring all these vision ideas full circle and funnel them. So um, I'm going to have her do like a quick announcement in the, in the, the not next meeting, but the meeting after really talking about the new suite of services that are going to be available for you guys, the new opportunities for you guys to build, to have your, your marketing made, to have your campaign pain pieces made. We're actually going to be building a mail room that's going to be ready in March. In March. That mail room is going to take care of all of your farming. We're going to have a commercial room that is going to be pumping out all of your flyers. And so if you've ever thought, well, I want to do a, 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 a farm, but I just haven't done that. Cool. Just tell us where you want to have that farm at. We'll get the list from title and then we'll do all the printing for you guys and we'll do all the mailing and get it out for you. So there's going to be some exciting things that we're going to put on the on the on the um, on the on the horizon for you guys. So we want everyone to level up. We're going to level up as leaders. We're going to level up with tools, support, coaching, um, different sales leaders. And we're going to be able to take this to new heights. So be on the lookout for everything new. Also, save the date. On January 11th, which is going to be the second week in January, 
our team meeting is going to be a theme team meeting. Um, we're going to probably do about a two hour meeting. We'll get more information. It's going to be a Vanity Fair event. This Vanity Fair event, it's going to be a year in review. We're going to look back at the year. We're going to talk about all of our accomplishments. We're going to talk about how Ben was the sexiest man on the planet. We're going to talk about, you know, different categories and honor you guys and feature you in different ways. And so uh, it's going to be a Vanity Fair event. Uh, Gabrielle will build the Zoom backdrop. So all you guys have to do is upload that Zoom backdrop and you guys are going to be on the front page of Vanity Fair. So when you do something really cool, something sleek, something very sexy this year so or for 2022 so be on the lookout for that more information to come but before we wrap up the meeting this week you guys we wanted to ask you guys because you all come from different backgrounds and different walks of life we wanted to ask you guys what is one unique family tradition that you and your family do every single year for the holidays um you know whether it's making meatballs whether it's you know um Molly said that her and her family used to go Christmas caroling. So she wanted us to, are we going to carol now or should we wait for another? Okay, we're not going to do that now, Molly. But no, so we want to know like, what are some cool, unique family traditions that you guys do? Okay, so let's hear. Either either take yourself off of mute or just go ahead and put it in the chat. Let's light up this chat. So Sylvia says making gumbo. Oh, Lisa says, I let my Italian mom cook everything. My family growing up, it was meatballs and lasagna all day long and just the smell of the cheese and the garlic and the tomatoes everything was made from scratch homemade raviolis i'm coming over bro i am coming over homemade raviolis i love this what else you guys what else you guys do as unique family traditions go ahead and speak up or just light up the chat and don't be shy i don't care what it is so on my mom's side of the family we do a um Every Christmas Eve, we do a big family get together um, and we play the little white elephant game. Nice. Uh, and then on my dad's side, on Christmas morning at like 8 a.m., we all, like, since before I was born, we go to my aunt's house for Christmas breakfast. Ooh, I love it. This whole spread, huh? Everything, man. It's, it's bomb. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, someone put in the chat, we make, uh, what is this? I don't know what that is. We make, where is that? Sorry. We make Colombian tamales and co Colombian buenuelos. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. We have collective nervous breakdowns. I love that. I love that. A lot of families do that, especially around the holidays. So collective nervous breakdowns, uh, drive the neighborhood lights. Yes, I love that. I would beg my mom to get a treat every year. I'd be lucky if we got, got, got one by the new year. Okay, cool. Uh, Naja says, I let my kids pick and open a gift at midnight. Awesome. Ben and I were matching hats around the holidays. That's that's sweet, you guys. That's really, really sweet. I love that. That's from John. Anybody else? Let's hear you guys' traditions. I want to hear what else. Uh, we make tamales. My sister-in-law uh, put a hot dog and a yellow cheese in one. I cried. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Any other traditions that you guys want to talk about? Or you want to show? Them? I always um, buy my daughter's pajamas. My mom always got us pajamas and let us open it on Christmas Eve. And we get all excited because we think maybe this year it's not pajamas, but it would always be pajamas. But it's so nice anyway. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. We open presents at 12 on the 24th. Love it. Signature garlic noodles that are fire. Oh, I love this. Dave and I go to Macy's to look at cats. We got our baby there in 2015. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, uh, that's cute. What else, you guys? Any other unique traditions that you guys do? Going once, going twice. Uh, we open a gift at midnight, but this year I'm bringing back Black Bottom Cupcakes. My aunt that passed used to make them. Oh, that's very cool. Is the black bottom, is it like an Oreo cookie? Is that what makes the black bottom? Because I've had those before. They're really, really delicious. Um, no, they're chocolate at the bottom. And then it's like cream cheese with chocolate chips on top. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds good. So I'm going to need one of those. I'm going to need some of those raviolis. I'm going to need some of those tamales. And I'm going to need a whole collection of things that you guys are making. Please and thank you in advance. Uh, so you guys, I love that. If you have any more, just go ahead and light up the chat. So um, on behalf of, of, of 
the entire senior leadership team, we, we want to wish you guys a really, really happy holiday season. We know that you've worked your asses off this year. We know that you've put in time, effort, and energy. You've had emotional highs, emotional lows. Um, some of you have had the best financial years that you've ever had. And I think when we look back at what we've created here, this what's up, little man? The sense of community, um, the sense of culture. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Before I wrap up, John, you wanted to talk about Stockton. Go ahead. So it's super timely. My, my apologies. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Elias. I know you love being interrupted when you're when you're getting deep. Yeah. Uh, but but I would be remiss if we got through this meeting without giving you an update on Stockton. Um, Hercules, we're still waiting for PG&E, but Stockton is getting super close. Um, we're getting next key installed if all goes as planned on Thursday morning and also our first furniture delivery. Um, paint and floors and the, and the update interior has been done. So we're just getting some furniture in there. We already have internet and we'll get next key this week. So uh, by early, uh, by, by next year, but realistically, I mean, if you wanna get in there uh, at the end of this week, you can. I'll be there at nine in the morning on Thursday. If anyone wants to come through and check it out, I'll be there for probably at least a few hours. Cool. I'll be there. We, had a, we had a really big, uh, exciting agent that's joined us in Stockton too. 14 years, KW uh, veteran. Um, Anna Pacheco is uh, in, in Stockton that it has now joined our team as of yesterday. So super excited to launch uh, a lot of production at office too. And you guys, a reminder, the Oakland office is closed this week. Um, there's about $80,000 in upgrades going into that office. So super, super excited to see what the new, because our office was already dope, right? And I cannot wait to see the final product. I've been working with the designers. John has been quarterback in that. And so really, really excited to see what the new space looks like. So free, uh, free Christmas tree, 13 foot Christmas tree. If anyone wants it, you got to come take golf hall lights and ribbons uh and take it with you uh we have those Wait, big white ceiling the, lights you're taking uh, them down before christmas yeah well no one's gonna be there the whole week to oh, yeah. shut down okay. so if anyone wants a really cool christmas tree for a couple of days you're welcome to come take it uh the big white ceiling lights we have are, are free if everyone wants it we were giving the ropes a couple, but people a couple of people claimed it and there's gonna be a bunch of other stuff in there that people uh, a ping uh the table tennis table uh if anyone wants it just dm me you can come there's pick it up Foosball table? Oh, foosball table is also free. I, I want the foosball table. Foosball. I got the foosball table. <laughs> I'll take the foosball table. I claim the foosball table since before we even moved in there. All I'll, right, go I'll, for I'll, it. I'll take the ping pong table. I'm going to steal all of that. I want the ping pong all table. Well, you guys I'll have steal. access. It's, it's a race. Okay, paper, rock, scissors. No, I'm just kidding. So, you guys, uh, nonetheless, uh, wishing you guys all a very, very happy holiday season. We'll do a recap meeting, um, like I said, and starting in January. But I really want you guys to look back, reflect this year, and really take a second to look at everything that you've created in your life and what you will create in 2022. Uh, it's been amazing. It's been incredible. And watch what we do next year. So, you guys, I want you to really not think too hard in January or in, in 2022. And I just want you to be all about the execution and the action. So, we are here. We love you guys. We appreciate you. We are grateful. Little mini Swanson over there. You're looking sharp, my man. You're looking like a handsome little dude over there. What's up, big dog? How you doing? Are you ready for Christmas? Yeah. Have you been a good boy? Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas to you and to your family, okay? You make sure you hug your mom and your nana and you tell them Merry Christmas from the team, okay? Okay. All right, you guys. Well, listen, uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to each of you guys. Thank you to our guests for being here and sharing some of this time and this energy with us. So peace. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and we will see you guys next week. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Elias. Thank you.